Hello everybody, this is Brent, the EdTech Principal from EdTech.TV. Uh, today I want to ask a question. I want to know how much time you've spent doing something like this. Or, possibly even worse, something like this. As teachers, we love to set up these trivia games for our students. And if you've done that, mad respect to you. I know how much time it takes. There's a lot of effort. And if you're repeating it, then you just have to do it over and over again. Um, but there is a better way to do it. And so today we're going to take a look at some of those better ways. Um, I've got two great resources on how to build a trivia game, and they're all online. So you can save them so you don't have to set up over and over again or, you know, worry about erasing or chasing things down. Um, and I also wanted to make sure that I gave a shout out to at Mr. Nessie, that's Chris Nessie, who does the House of EdTech podcast, for introducing me to one of these resources. So let's jump right into it. The first resource is a little better known, and it is called Jeopardy Labs. Um, Jeopardy Labs is uh, kind of the gateway between using a PowerPoint to do all this, uh, which I didn't mention before. Some people are using PowerPoints. Uh, but we should also step away from that because it is the 21st century after all. So um, let's step into this Jeopardy Labs. What you do is you click here on Start Building. It's all pretty straightforward. Now, uh, you do have to give a password, but you don't have to make an account. So we're going to just go with the simple side. You can you know read stuff later if you're interested in, in kind of... Uh, working more with it but just make any simple password it doesn't really matter and then click on start building so here you are you know pretty much everything that you can think of uh, so you enter your title and let's just say um, tech.tv test round okay so we're gonna make different categories um, let's say um, Superhero identity. So in order to save time, we're obviously not going to do all of these. Um, and I'm not going to fill all of these out, but it makes it pretty simple. All you do is you click on a number. And of course, you know, Jeopardy style is backwards. So you're going to do the answer as the question and the question as the answer. So I might say Peter Parker and I might change this to who is Spider-Man and then save it. And then it nicely deletes the number there. So I know that I've already done that one. And then I might say, um, you know, Bruce Wayne and who is Batman, right? Um, and I'll continue down the line with all of these. Um, just for fun, I'll fill in one or two more. Good food. Totally non-subjective questions. Uh, obviously, you're going to do something a little bit more related to what you're doing, but this is just for fun and for uh, showing off. Okay, so... Uh, moving forward, we've done all of these questions, um, you, you fill them all out, and then you click on continue. And then it says you're done. It's really straightforward. Now here's the trick with Jeopardy Labs. You do have to remember the website that you've made. So here it makes jeopardylabs.com slash play, and then it gives me the name of it. So edtechtv-test-round, okay? And they don't save it for you or anything like that with the free version. Um, so I'm going to, you know, open it up. Now here's the cool part. You pick the number of teams. So you might have, you know, one team, two teams, three teams, four teams. Now this works for it and against it. So let's just say we've got three teams. Um, I'm going to press start. If I want to go into full screen, I can do that. Now, it's actually pretty clever because it knows which ones I've filled out questions for, but um, here's how it works. So we click on superhero identities, and so we click, and here's the answer, Peter Parker. Now, obviously, I let my teams choose however they want to choose, you know, maybe fastest hand up or whatever it is that you have, and then we click on correct response. 
it says who is spider-man right now that person or that team has to answer that way and so then let's say it's team one i can give them the points for that by pushing the plus button here okay and if i hit continue you can see that superhero identities for 100 is now gone now if i go into superhero identities for 200 and we say bruce wayne and maybe we say, well, who is Superman? And that's team two. And we'll hit the minus, and so they get minus 200. Now, be careful. You do have to show, you do have to give points on some level um, because I'll hit the correct response. I'll say, who is Batman? Continue. It's gone. But if we go to the good food and we say pizza, and then we say the correct response is, what is the best food in the world? But let's say I don't give any points out for it and I hit continue you'll see that it's still here. That means that the answer did not give any points away. And so that can be both good and bad, but you do have to remember to actually give the points. Really straightforward, really useful, jeopardylabs.com. Uh, set up your games. Remember, you know, you do have to save your URLs up there. Uh, save it to, you know, wherever you know you're gonna find it, because if you wanna load it again in the future, you know, you hit reset, Again, maybe I'll pick 12 teams this time. Start. There we go. All over again for the next class. Totally ready. Really, really nice and useful. Now, the second one I want to introduce is flipquiz.me. Okay. This was introduced to me by Chris Nessie uh, from the House of Ed Tech podcast. Definitely recommend checking him out. I've got some links uh, down below on this page so you can check it out and, and listen to him. Uh, but this is flip quiz. Um, this one is obviously, as you can see, just looking at it, it's a little bit more modern, a little bit more kind of ready to go. Um, and the Jeopardy Labs one is great, but uh, it does look a little bit older. And this one kind of has the the more, you know, Web 2.0 kind of look to it. Um, so this one, you do have to sign up and you do create a login. So I've done that already and we're going to just jump right into it here. The nice thing here is that it saves your boards. So totally free. Um, you can create a profile and do all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, but this is huge. So you don't have to go in and, you know, save the name of the URL and all that extra stuff. Uh, you can also do that, I think, with Jeopardy Labs, but you do have to pay them that uh, $20 fee. This one, you can just jump in and uh, they create a list of all these dates created, last date updated, all that type of stuff. Um, so this is in beta mode and that is important to know, but uh, it's still pretty great. So let's take a look. We'll create a board and I'll name it exciting. Okay, so the category, again, we'll just keep the same categories. Um, Now, remember, this is not as Jeopardy as Jeopardy is, as Jeopardy Labs are. So, um, so I will write the question here. Who is Batman? And then I might answer it with Bruce Wayne. Now, here is where it gets super, super cool. Um, because you can do a little bit more editing and you can do HTML in the other ones, but these two things I really like. Uh, check out here, this is an image. So I can give the URL of an image right here and plug it in. So I'm gonna do that. So here I've got this image that I found. Um, you guys are obviously not stealing these images, but you're using them for educational purposes. Um, put in the URL and you can actually change the size of it, which might be a good idea. So I might want to make sure it's locked with this little lock button. I'm going to say, okay, I only want it to be 500 wide. And now you can see that that image is in there and I go, okay, well now I know that that's Iron Man and I might say that that's Tony Stark. Okay. Um, and we could go on and on and on. Uh, I could make a category for the board as well. I could make an image for the whole, you know, for the whole board cover, do all sorts of little great things. But the real reason that I, I like flip quiz is because uh, if I do the presentation view, 
So I've got, you know, only these two are showing up, but I do the 100 question. It says, who is Batman? The students answer. I reveal it. It looks really nice. It says Bruce Wayne. Uh, superhero identity is 100. Now, please note that there is no keeping track of the score. That's a big downside here. But I think it's going to uh, come in in the future because this is, at the moment, a beta version. Let's see what happens when I click on 200. That's cool. Right? So it shows me the picture, and the picture can be used, and then the students are going to say, oh, that's uh, Iron Man, but maybe they make a mistake, and they say it's Iron Man and not Tony Stark, which is his real name, his identity. Um, so we can either give or take away the points based on that. Um, that's it, and then you'll be done, okay? Uh, so you can see that it is a little bit different. Now, the other thing that bothers me about flip quiz is that getting out of it, there's no real, there's no real exit here. So then I have to go back into flip quiz. I have to delete this, confirm, leave the actual page. Then I have to, you know, go back to my boards and go find everything again. Um, one other thing though that is cool about this, if I'm going to continue editing this board, I didn't show you this one before, but let's say we're gonna do one more question. Now I can actually type in something like this, double bonus, all right? And let's say that I linked it out. I can link to an outside site. So maybe I wanna go to um, YouTube and maybe I want to see you know, a clip of uh, Incredible Hulk. All right, so I could take the link from YouTube. I can put it right into here. I could also, you know, maybe choose to target to make sure that it goes into a, uh, you know, into a new window. And we don't even have to give an answer really, but let's say I save this again. Go to the presentation view. Now we've got the 300 question and it's the double bonus. I can click right on it and it'll open me up to that video right there on, on YouTube. So there's a ton of potential here with uh, flipquiz.me. Um, I really want to play around with it some more, and I think that you guys can find out some really interesting and useful ways to use it. Um, if you can imagine, well, we can link out to YouTube, but we can link out to anything. So, you know, let your minds wander and, and think about all the different possibilities you could use with making these as trivias or, you know, um, ways to uh, follow up on class presentations, all sorts of great things. Really, really amazing. And uh, it's only in the beta stages right now, so it's going to be more and more awesome. I'm really hoping uh, for some, some great stuff in the future from these guys. Okay, your homework is going to be short and sweet. Number one, go to jeopardylabs.com, or if you prefer, you can, of course, go to flipquiz.me. Um, I also, just as a thanks, I'd like to say, you know, hey, why don't you follow at Mr. Nessie on Twitter? He's uh, inspired me to do this one because of showing me flip quiz. And of course, as always, I love it when you follow me on Twitter at a tech principal. Um, I don't say it enough, but you know, if you like these videos, please push the like button. Uh, that really, really helps a lot. I'm actually guilty of not doing it when I like a video, but um, if someone reminded me, then I would do it more often. So please, uh, if you like it, push like, and of course, come visit over on Facebook at EdTechTV. Thanks so much, you guys, and we will see you soon.